Hello? Can we talk? Shmoomboch, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what? No! Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Sianna to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little Red Riding Hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter? Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well? Chop, chop. All right. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Honestly? So-so. Women must love you. Actually, I do just fine. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? 
I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Grand hotel. Come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? Hey? The better to eat you with, my dear. I'll butcher you. Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. In your shoes, I'd have myriad questions. For instance, Siana, whatever became of you after they drove you out? But you, nothing. You avoid all talk of it. Ah, you're just less interesting than you think. Don't know the details of your story, no. But they don't matter. I've met a lot like you. Like me? You were wronged, betrayed. So you think you have a moral right to exact bloody vengeance. And you've set out to settle the score, even if it costs you your life. Well, well. You've seen right through me. Not entirely. Still don't know if you realize how badly you fucked up, doing what you did to Dedloff. On second thought, I liked you more when you were silent. Let's get out of here. <laughs>